I'm Nick West with the Orange County Stunners, and these are the results and highlights this weekend from the top five men's college volleyball teams in the country. Securing the number five spot outright this week on our list, it's the UC Irvine Anteaters. The Anteaters are 16-6 and six on the year and went 2-0 and this weekend against Cal State Northridge. Friday's sweep victory saw number 20, Halir Heno, go 10 for 18 with six aces for 17 points. Number 11, Francesco Sini went 11 for 28 with two aces and two blocks. In Saturday's sweep at the Ridge, Francesco Sini got another 23 points on 40 attempts, hitting 475. The Anteaters get the chance to upset Big Bad Hawaii in Oahu this Friday and Saturday. Number four this week with a record of 16 and three, it's Long Beach State. Against UCSD, the 49ers swept both matches, winning in straight sets. On Friday, number 12, Clark Godbold went six for 10, hitting 400 while racking up six blocks. Spencer Olivier went five for 12 with eight digs, eight blocks, and 11 points. After having two errors in the first set, the entire Long Beach team did not have a hitting error for the rest of the match. Long Beach's only losses this year are against top five ranked teams. They play next against Northridge, Friday in Northridge, and again on Saturday at home in the Pyramid. Number three this week with a record of 20 and three is Penn State. Like a puma. It's a big cat. Like a lion. You're making that up. Penn State went 2-0 and against Harvard this week, sweeping them in both matches. On Friday, number 18, Toby Ezionu went 8 for 12, hitting 583 with three blocks for 11 and a half total points. His teammate number 19, Cal Fisher, went 10 for 18, hitting 389, ripping three aces for 13 and a half points. On Saturday's sweep, number eight, Michael Cowell went nine for 15, hitting 467. They play next against 10 and 12, George Mason on Friday and Saturday in Virginia. Number two this week with a record of 23 and two is UCLA. Against GCU, the Brew Crew went 2-0 this weekend, but kudos to the Antelopes for taking the only set off any of our top five teams. In Friday's victory, Merrick McHenry went 14 for 22, hitting 591 with five blocks for 19 total points. His teammate number 20, Ethan Champlin, went 15 for 27, hitting 481 with three blocks for 17 and a half total points. On Saturday's match, Bruins' Ethan Champlin and number 12, Alex Knight, both went 10 for 19 while number 16, Ido David, went 13 for 27 with three blocks for 15 and a half points. They lead the country in team hitting percentage at 382 and are second in the nation at blocks per set with 2.91. Their next match is at home against USC on Thursday and again at the Galen Center on Saturday. That of course leaves at number one this week, the University of Hawaii Warriors. Hawaii stays at number one after sweeping UC Santa Barbara in straight sets. Friday night, Spiros Chakas hit 500 with 13 kills and two aces for 17 points, while his teammate Guillaume Voss went 9 for 11, hitting 727 with four blocks for 11 points. Saturday's top point scorers were number one Chaz Galloway, who went 12 for 19, hitting 526 with two aces and 15 points, and his teammate number 11, Dimitrios Muchlias, went 14 for 25, had five digs, and totaled 16 points. This weekend will be the Warriors' biggest test before the playoffs, as they have to face off against number five UC Irvine at home in the Stan Sheriff Center. Quick heads up to the Anteaters going into Hawaii. There's gonna be a lot of people. Things are gonna be very loud. That is the top five list, and I am Nick West with the Orange County Stunners. Check back in next week for another rankings list with game results. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing.